That's right, baby. Wool back. Wool back. We got a brand new exhaust. The V12 ain't dead, boys. The V12 is far from dead from Fab Speed Motorsport, the Lamborghini, the Murcielago. There's just something about a cold start on a brand new exhaust on a V12 Lamborghini Murcielago. Letter prime, letter prime, and. Before we get too excited, I gotta point out everything that's broken on the Mercy Lago. So the driver's side window, you'll note, is all sort of kind of wonky. It's stuck in this position. The passenger window regulator is also broken. I can't raise that window. We have two airbag warning lights and one of my bat wings, the motor blew up yesterday. The car sounds, sounds amazing. Now we gotta let the old girl warm up. A quick pit stop here at JP Morgan Chase. I bought a new supercar and I sold it. Well, I've traded, I've traded a supercar for a new supercar and we gotta pay for the new supercar. And it's also like a little bit awkward. I gotta take everything with me because I can't lock the car because the windows are broke. Filming is not loud in banks, so you'll have to trust the process. There's just something about the silhouette of a Mercy Lago. Cashier's check in hand. We gotta go pay for the car. When we take delivery, more to come. Oh, 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 speakers or your surround sound. You need a Lamborghini Mercy Lago and you need a straight pipe exhaust from Fabio Motorsport. That's what you need. Forget the Bluetooth. Forget the radio and get a Lamborghini Mercy Lago. I say this every single time I drive this car. This is peak Lamborghini. This is peak automotive. You got a V12, a gated manual transmission. You got 600, almost 600 horsepower. The new cars are faster. The new cars are quicker, but they're not the same. They don't have a soul. They don't have the character, but then the old cars are too slow. They break too much. Whereas this car is the perfect balance between everything. A manual Mercy Lago. If you have one, I suggest you buy a second one. And if you don't have one, you better buy one before it's too late. As I just said, if you have one, you may as well buy a second one. I'm taking my actual own advice. So this is a gated LP640. So my car is the pre-LP. This is the LP. This has the six and a half liter V12. Mine has the 6.2 liter. It's at 405. I don't know what the reserve is, but I know it's much higher than that. We're going to bid 450. Four, we don't want to do 4.5 million, 450, bid 400, let's go, let's go. We are the winning bidder right now, 450K on the gated LP640. This thing is Monterey Blue, it's the only Monterey Blue LP640. I feel a little bit dweeby right now, so we're at another credit union right now. I gotta drop off this cashier's check to pay for the new supercar that I'm getting. This is his bank, so I gotta pay off the loan balance on his car, and then he's gonna keep the proceeds in his bank account. I feel a little bit dumb though, because I got my school backpack on, but the locks on my car, they do work, but the windows don't work. So anyways, yeah, we gotta drop this off. I just wanna give the big Biggest shout out to the homies at Fab Speed Motorsport who engineered this absolutely beautiful exhaust. I knew this was gonna happen. If you listen rather closely, I have the squeaky door again. My Aventador Coupe a couple years ago had a squeaky door for like three years and it's back on the Mercy Lago. Now, do we need a second manual Mercy Lago? Now, mine's a 6.2. The one I just bid on was a six and a half liter. Do we need two? Probably not, but is it the greatest car ever built? It might be. Now, on that bombshell, today's video has been sponsored by the homies over at ShipStation. Now, imagine for one single split second, you could automate all those annoying, tedious tasks in your life. Making your bed, doing the laundry, cleaning your house, going to the grocery store. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna go pick up your groceries, but ShipStation is here to automate all those annoying, tedious tasks in your life. Printing out shipping labels, yep, ShipStation could do that. Comparing delivery times, delivery rates, ShipStation will even automate delivery notifications to your customers so you don't have to do that and they know exactly when they're gonna receive their product. ShipStation has worked with 130,000 companies to grow their business and 98% of companies, guys, that work with ShipStation for one year our customers for life. Now most of you guys know I sell my Strad merch, but did you know that ShipStation, they actually ship my Strad merch. And if we backtrack three years ago before I worked with ShipStation, the OGs might remember, it took a long time for you guys to get your merchandise. And that's because uh, I, I was responsible. Whereas now with ShipStation, they have transformed my business. But most importantly, you guys, my customers, get your product in record-breaking time. ShipStation gives me access to industry-leading shipping rates. We're talking up to 84% off UPS and USPS rates. If you've been on the fence about working with ShipStation for a while, there's no better time than right now. There's a two-month free trial, and the setup is so easy. Now, maybe you have an Amazon, an Etsy, you're an eBay seller, you got a Shopify. Well, with ShipStation, you can consolidate all your orders into one simple interface. Maybe you're looking to scale your business. Well, 
ShipStation has enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Stradman today and sign up for a free 60 day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Stradman. Now we have a bunch to do this afternoon. Step one, the Lamborghini Gallardo. We're finally beginning the process to get that car back on the road. So step one, we gotta push it out of the garage. We gotta push it off to the street. A truck is gonna be here momentarily to actually pick up the car to send off for further evaluation. Now step one is to drain the oil. We wanna figure out is there any metal fragments inside the oil because that's gonna give us a good idea if we need to pull the motor, if we need to rebuild the motor, or if there's something else going on. So the car is gonna be gone for a while. Where it's going, I'm gonna say eventually, but not quite yet. But uh, when it's gonna be home, I have no idea. Yes, we also have some very exciting news. The Jeep Rugini has finally made it here to home sweet home. Honestly, the color palette going on, we desperately needed green here in the garage. So we gotta get the Jeep Rugini out and then we can pull the Gallardo out. I've discovered it's actually easier getting inside the Jeep Rugini if you just climb through the window. The doors do go up, don't worry. It's a, it's a proper Jeep Rugini. The doors do go up. It's a lot easier to squeeze in. Kind of easier to squeeze in this way. Ow, ow, ow. I'm not as slim as I used to be. She's no mercy Lago. Honestly though, you gotta admit, it sounds pretty good. The doors do catch, oh wow. Wait, what? What is that? That was not supposed to be that easy. I've heard it, I saw it in the last video. It's kind of, it needs some love. We gotta get some proper seats. This one is kind of sort of mounted down, but there's no passenger seat at all. There's also no seat belt. Modifications to the Lamborghini coming, coming soon. You guys are right on time. I needed the muscle. What's up, what's up? Thank you guys. Of course. We got the truck, we got the trailer, and we got one dead Lamborghini. And we'll see if that adds up to a good equation. I think, if it, I think it will. With you involved, Bradley, absolutely. It's always a good equation. First thing Bradley does, he freaks out when he sees the Liberty Dash. Oh, yeah. We want to get a Lamborghini Dash, but you know what? Maybe we stick with the Liberty one. I, it makes sense. Freedom. Free God bless America. Find yourself friends who push your dead Lamborghini out of your garage. You guys are stronger than I thought. I guess you could say the blessing about being the smallest, weakest individual in the group is that I just have to steer the car. You guys are doing great, though. Yeah, keep up the work. The calves, you're building calf muscles. I haven't seen the orange underneath the sun in such a long time on a perfect summer day. The car looks so good. We even have reinforcements coming in right there, all the Blackhawks. So we have the Tacoma with the winch, and we're using that to get that onto the trailer. This color, by far and away, one of the best Lamborghini colors of all time. It looks so good. And check that out, we got the four Blackhawks. Any second now, any second now, there we go, too easy. Everywhere I go, everybody's a Boy Scout. Are you an Eagle Scout? Oh yeah. What's the Scout's honor? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these guys. What, what kind of knot is this? Sheep shank. That's not a knockoff knot, that, that's, a, that's like a real deal knot right there. Are you an Eagle Scout too? Oh yeah. I was a Cub Scout. Our parents threatened us not getting our driver's licenses without them. Yeah, that'll do it. You hate to see her go, but goodness gracious, do you love to watch her leave. I tell you, the first gen guy heard was aging like fine wine. That car looks better and better and better. Next time we see it, I have no idea. I'd assume the oil analysis will probably take maybe 10 days, maybe two weeks, so I'll give you guys updated as soon as I know more info. Well, unfortunately, it would appear that I have been outbid and outclassed. We're now at 690,000. We had another guy come at 455,555, and then Damasta at $690,000. So this is one of 23 LP640 manual coupes per Ed Bullion. There's also 10 Roadsters. It's one of 88 manual LP640s in the entire world, and it's the only known one in Monterey Blue. So it's a true unicorn, it's a one-on-one -on -one car. It's at 690,000 in the comments below. How high do we go? Is this a million dollar car? Honestly, it might be. I know of other LP640 manuals that sold for well over a million dollars. It has 49,000 miles on it, but I want a car I can drive anyway. Now we just got here to Envision because we have some news on the carbon fiber events, or I don't want to say bad news, it's just kind of sort of news. Yeah, news. As I explained outside, we have bad news, Nick, kind of not really, it's not bad it's news. It's not the best news. It's not the best it's news, the but best. it's gonna make me safer. And Safety. that's the most important thing. Safety. Safety is first. So we have the carbon fiber doors and we have the OEM doors right here. And unfortunately, as much as we love the carbon fiber doors, and I'm going to explain that to you real quick, the carbon fiber door looks amazing. However, this door is not going on the car. I, I want to keep you safe. We want, I yes, want to yes, keep you yes. safe. Oscar, you've got a girlfriend. I'm a dad. Your dad, I think. To a dog. I'm a dad to a dog. <laughs> wow, that could have escalated very quickly. Oscar's my son. He's a marshmallow. He's a flu. Yes. But yes, you're just trying to keep me safe. Here on the driver's side, you can see the carbon fiber door has been removed. And that's because the structural integrity of the carbon fiber door is not quite there. This factory door, you can see the crash bar right inside right there. And that means when you get T-boned, when some dude yes. in a smart car goes through an intersection and T-bones you, this actually protects you, whereas unfortunately the carbon fiber door 
doesn't, yeah. it doesn't have that. The factory door has a lot more guts inside here. And what I mean by that, it's got a lot more inner structure. You can see all the mounting brackets for all the different various components. And all of that would have to be manufactured for the carbon fiber door. And the window regulator is, is a very, very precise component that has to yes. be perfect. Perfect every time. Every time. And to design that for this would be would be would be difficult. And then the other thing, there's no sound deadening here either. As cool as the carbon fiber door is, it just it just it doesn't make sense. The reliability's not gonna be there, the safety's not gonna be there. But you're probably thinking, like, but it's a carbon fiber car. How does it not have carbon fiber doors? I have a solution. I just took way too much credit for that. Nate and I have a, Envision and I, Nate and I, we have a solution. Carbon fiber skinning. Skinning, skinning? Yes. Is that is that, a, is that uh, proper yeah, pronunciation? Yeah. I think it's the generic term. Is that an it. adjective or a verb? I, I did not. No, <laughs> I did not. So basically, we're going to take the OEM door and we're gonna skin it with carbon fiber. So basically, we're gonna take carbon fiber, we're gonna mold it onto the factory door so that visually, it looks like carbon fiber. It is carbon fiber, it's just not structural carbon fiber. Yeah, it's not lightweight carbon fiber. Right. Carbon fiber skinning is the process of overlaying existing components with a single layer of carbon fiber in order to give them a genuine carbon fiber appearance. So basically, we're snaking everybody, effectively, right? It, essentially, yeah. Uh, essentially, yeah. essentially <laughs> everybody is getting snaked, but you guys are in the inside. You guys are gonna know that this door is not actually carbon fiber this is is it aluminum probably aluminum we're actually shipping the doors down to Arizona to have them skinned so you guys know but but nobody else is gonna know no right I would never know before we head on home you got to check out the Perfamonte right there but Naderate has a very special surprise in this room that he is giving us exclusive unprecedented access to check that out the color on this Eurus is absolutely insane what's the name on it Oh, don't even ask. Bro, I, I we talked about this. We rehearsed this. I can't even tell if it's green or yellow. Five minutes ago, we were rehearsing lines. The color is verde citrea. citrea. Boom, let's go. Oh, how did I know that? Because I, yeah, anyways, I have some insider information. But this color is so cool. Yeah, what would you put this on? What car? Uh, Huracan Serato. That's a good one. I did. However, I put my, my, my Huracan Serato is in Verde Scandal, but this color is so, so, so cool. On a Urus, I love it. It's a very bold taste. I probably wouldn't do it on a Urus, but I'm glad somebody did. I'm pretty certain that is Scandal right there. This is the same color that's going to be on my Serato as far as the interior. Verde Citrea. So Lamborghini, you might know, a couple of the Huracan replacement test mules have been spotted around Italy, and I'm trying to decide, do we want to get one? And if we do get one, do we get one in this color? Obviously, nobody knows what the car is going to look like. I'll put a couple photos right here of the spy photos of the car spotted in Italy. Do we buy another Urus? Let me know in the comments below. One thing I want to point out, the carbon Aventor, I realize it's never going to be as cool as like a full carbon Pagani wire or like a Koenigsegg Regera. Like, it's just not. Yeah, we have to overlay carbon fiber. It's kind of sort of fake, but it's going to look really, really cool. You know, it's, it's aftermarket. It, it is what it is, but I'm still really excited. Now, as far as the time frame, we got to ship the doors down to Arizona. They'll probably be there for about two or three weeks. So realistically, we'll get those back, I don't know, end of August. And the final tally on the gated LP640, we've got four days left, sitting at 690,000. How high is too high, but how high is not high enough? Auctions are crazy, it's such an adrenaline rush. We got four days to sort this out. I don't wanna overpay for the car, but it's also a unicorn. It's the only one in Monterey Blue in the entire world. There's 88 gated LP640 cubes. What do you guys think? Now tomorrow, the new car arrives. Like I said early on in today's video, I sold a supercar, I traded in a supercar on another supercar, and that arrives tomorrow but today's video is over.